Hello, welcome to your next tutorial. I'm about to teach you something I really feel like you don't need to learn, but I'll just teach it anyways. We'll be learning basic al arithmetic. Um, one thing I need to mention real fast is someone mentioned, told me, that you don't have to return zero in the main function, because cold blocks will just think, oh, main function? Eh, it just returns zero at the end anyways if it's not already there. So you can get rid of that. <sighs> And let me just teach you about basic arithmetic. And I won't be doing it on here. I'll be using Notepad++ real fast. Because that way I don't get involved in this code down here. I could just teach you right here. And what you could do is... Um, basic arithmetic, I really don't feel like you guys need to know this. A plus 7 equals 15, right? 15 minus... Or 15 minus 6 equals 9, um, 4 times 3 equals 12, and 5 divided by 2.5 equals 2, not 5. There's one more operator I feel like you should learn, and that is the, um, I don't even know what it's called. Um, let me just show you what it does. If you were to take 16 divided by 7, you will get 2 point whatever but if you have an integer it just be two because floating point numbers allow this if you done um int um num equals that basically it would just you know int num equals two but what about the remainder um what if you want that remainder what if you don't even care what six divided by seven is um what you can do is there's a special operator and what you can do is you could take say 17 percentile 7 uh, that'll equal 3 and what this will do is this will return the remainder of this the you know the whole remainder not like the decimal or anything what so you know 7 times 2 or if you were to take 17 divided by 7 well in your math class remember that equals 2 remainder 3 if you wanted to keep whole numbers and what this will allow you to do is say um, you know I don't, I don't even know why you need this this is just I guess is a little important this all you have to remember it does is just gives you the remainder of the number um, if you wanted to do um, 24 um, 9 that would equal uh, I believe that would equal 6 so you know 24 divided by 9 equals 2, remainder 6, because 9 times 2 equals 18, 24 minus 18 equals 6. Simple. There's one more, there's a few more operators I want to teach you, and um, they're really easy. So, let's say you had int x equals 5. If you want to do x equals x plus 5, you don't have to do that. You can just do x plus equals 5. Be sure you don't do x equals plus 5, because then you're just saying, okay, x equals positive 5. That's not what you want. And yes, you guys are smart. You are allowed to do y minus equals 9. That's a y equals 20 at first. So y equals 20 minus 9, right? And yes, you could do and z uh, divide equals 12. You could do times equals 98, times equals 98, what, whatever. You could also do, um, and I've never done this before, I, I don't even use this. Um, percentile equals um, 34. I don't know why you would need to use that. One more thing is, let's say you had int x plus equals 1. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is x plus plus. And this is where I'm going to go back to cold blocks for a second. So, no, I won't save that. So, let's say we had, um, I think we, no, I'll keep that for now. See how, um, X. And let me just end line. Okay, so X. And let's make X equals 90. Okay, end L. What this will do is, of course, it will print out at, uh, 90, 
But what if you wanted to have it 91? Instead of doing x plus equals 1, you could just put in x plus plus. Plus plus x, right? And no, don't don't click that, I don't know. And then you'll see, okay, it's 91. However, there's something else you have to be careful of. If you do x plus plus, you might think, oh, it's just the same thing. No. What it does is it'll do, okay. In fact, actually, let me just show you real fast. Hold on. Okay. So you'll see, okay, x equals 90. Th what we'll do is we'll take the value of x, finish whatever it's doing here, then I'll add it. So I'll say, okay, see how x, ignore this plus plus for now, just print out 90 and line, and then we'll add x so that the next time it's plus plus. Just ignore that, all you have to do is plus plus x. Um, I'll click that so that it goes away. Abort, come on. Hmm. Apparently he doesn't want to um, abort. Okay. Well, basically just realize that this will do 91. It will just do this first, then finish, then continue. But when you do um, x plus plus, it will do x, then it will add 1. And then, as you can tell here, it's just regular. Okay, that was a real quick tutorial. I don't know what we'll do in the next tutorial. I think you guys deserve to learn about classes and objects. That's kind of why you learned C++ in the first place, because you want to learn about classes and objects. We'll learn about that, and until then, see you later.